Good morning, beautiful people. It is the start of our last full week in the house. It's just kind of crazy to think. I woke up this morning and I was just like, this is the last full week. So yeah, we are in the nitty gritty and it is so weird for me. You guys know, I mean, over the years, the house is typically like pretty meticulously put together and I feel like I'm living in this flux of like not really caring. I'm just gonna give you a zoom of what the house looks like right now. So typically, I would never have a cord that would be visible. That would drive me crazy. Never in my life would I go to bed with things scattered, pillows not put in their place. I don't even know, these are just like leftover pillows that don't even have a place. A blanket, a mess. Steven's iPad and blanket here. Toys out. Bins in the middle of the floor. Bags, Sharpies, and zip ties. <laughs> that sounds like a crime scene. <laughs> but duct tape, bags, and zip ties. People are going to wonder about us. Uh, on the island. Stuff laying out here. Steven has redesigned his office with a card table that we had. All these cords in a pile, stuff over here. The dining room in complete disarray. I mean, it's been like this for several days now. Maybe this move has loosened me up a little bit um, to not be so tightly wound about how neat everything is and that I can't exist in a space that isn't meticulous, but it's like, <laughs> Like, we're just, like, living in a mess. Things are going so well. Uh, quick little update, because so many of you were so supportive. I told you about my blood work. I had literally every test done between my hematologist and my primary physician. Um, they had ordered, I think, I think they took seven or eight tubes, because that's how many tests I had ordered. Every single test came back really positive. Uh, I'm meeting with them this week to just go over all of the results, but everything that I saw in my chart, it looks really good. Um, so it has helped ease a lot of my stress and anxiety about all of the things. But yesterday I took the day off from filming. I just wanted a day to kind of chill out a bit, but I did some, I had a work call on Saturday and it went really well and I wanted to do a couple other tasks on Sunday to follow up on it. I have not decided about work. This was just something I was feeling out um, and it went really well, uh, not making any commitments, but I had a couple things that I needed to follow up with them on. So I did that yesterday and then I did a five mile run yesterday and it was so great. Yeah, it was just a really good day. And then we watched tennis, we hung out. We just had a really, really chill day at home. Sundays are also a day where you will see me on Instagram a lot more. So if you're not following me there, please, please do. I do Sunday Sherry's instead of Sunday Scaries, where I share some of my favorite things from the week and just a bunch of other stuff. So Sunday's a fun place to be with me on Instagram. It's where I prioritize a lot of my time and content. And we had a great time over there yesterday. I talked to so many of you, which is one of the easiest spaces to talk to you guys in. And it just makes it so handy. I am just finishing um, uploading today's video. It's going up a little bit late, but that's a-okay. It's a little bit later than usual, like an hour and a half, but we'll all be okay. Other than that, what's on the agenda today? So a couple things are on my list to start really thinking about. A, I need to get up in my closet and decide which clothes am I packing in boxes and which are going in suitcases for me to live out of for the first three weeks of April. So I have to make those determining factors, start packing up some of that stuff, and then I also wanna tackle packing up some of the bathroom things. So those are on my list today. Also, I have to go to the grocery store and decide what we're going to do for dinner. I am such a creature of habit that I've been having the same breakfast. So, oatmeal, a spoonful of almond butter that I'm going to melt and stir into my oatmeal, a splash of maple syrup, then a sliced banana. I forgot to mention this. I'm very weird. I don't eat the ends of bananas. I don't know about any of you. 
I just never eat them. I once heard that spiders lay eggs in it. <laughs> I think that is totally made up. But someone once said it to me and now I can't get it out of my head. And now I've said it to you. Just so we're all aware, I don't think that's true. And then I'm just going to take like a very small, not even a handful of walnuts and just break them up. Just to have a little bit of crunch in there. I'm going to just give that all a quick little stir. Breakfast is served. So one thing that was on my list today was getting into the pantry and getting it cleaned out. And all the baskets are pretty much empty. So there's really just, I think this one has some pancake mix. This one has some rice in it. And then we have some snacks here. I do have an Instacart coming, but we had some expired things that were like in there from the holidays that I want to get rid of. And then our fridge, I've been really good at keeping it fairly clean and tidy. Like I said, I have some groceries coming for the week. I'm just trying to buy enough for the week. I'm not like buying bulk like I normally would. And then I have actually been working my way through our freezer. So this is what we have here. We have some meatballs that, I mean, that's easy to throw with pasta. And then some veggies that I can throw with every meal. So I know that I can work through that in the next nine or so days. And then in our bottom drawer, it's really just Bubba's frozen food and some ice packs. So that feels good. And then just for some over pantry stuff, I have some canned stuff here that's front and center, just so we try to work through it as we go before we buy food. I'm going to really be trim on groceries the next nine, 10 days and just try to keep it to what we're eating like that day. Even if that means I have to go to the store every other day, I'd rather do that and waste nothing. Doggies just came in. It's much warmer today. So hopefully a lot of this snow melts. But yeah, that's kind of the start to our Monday. Once again, I'm just getting used to living in mess. <laughs> I just finished the doctor's appointment that I had with my hematologist. We were able to do it via Zoom because all my blood work is there and a hematologist just needs to be able to see my blood work and talk to me. But he was so happy with everything. I have been working with him since my pulmonary embolism. So he uh, is getting me a recommendation, making sure that I have extra medication as I'm moving, just so I'm taking care of. So that. I can wrap up this week and then I have my primary visit this week to take care of the rest of my health. I am committed to taking care of myself and I'm so happy that so many mentioned that you have anxiety around this, but let me tell you my friends, I'm finding that as I'm getting these visits done, the next one is easier. Getting that blood work done makes me way less anxious to get it done again or another test done. Just please, please, please do it. <laughs> Don't wait until it's too late or something gets really serious. I know we're all very anxious. Tell everyone that you're anxious. They will take good care of you and do it for yourself. It's the greatest act of self-care that you can do, so just do it. And that's what I keep telling myself, like just do it. All right, so I've tackled the pantry and the fridge today. I'm going to try to get this, this dining room because it's driving me crazy. But a lot of this is Steven's over here and I don't wanna mess it up. Um, but we have to get some of these things situated. Bubba's is pacing the house. I have some tennis on. Mabel is upstairs. I think I'm going to hold off tackling my closet until tomorrow. I'll show you how I'm gonna use the zip ties and the bags. And I'm honestly thinking that in the front of my Tesla, I'm just gonna throw all my shoes in there because then they'll be there if I need them. And I never use the frunk for anything anyway. So I might actually do that. We're doing a chicken Parmesan bake. So I have some spiral extra protein noodles. I'm adding one jar of marinara sauce. And now I'm gonna fill this up with water about three quarters of the way. I'm going to give that a really good shake and get the rest of the sauce off. To this, 
I'm adding some chicken that I've cut. I'm gonna add some garlic powder, some onion powder, some Italian seasoning, you know, just measuring with your heart. Some crushed red pepper. Some salt. Some fresh ground pepper. And now, I'm just gonna give that a stir all together, kind of distribute the chicken throughout. I have my oven preheating. I have my oven preheated to 425. And now I'm just going to cover this very tightly with some aluminum foil and I'm gonna bake it for 30 minutes and then I'll show you the next step. All right, tightly covered, 425, 30 minutes. Pulling this out after about 30 minutes, so you can see that there's still a lot of liquid here. That's perfectly fine. My chicken is perfectly cooked. My noodles are still a little al dente, but that's totally fine. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a stir again. So I just gave it a little stir. It smells delicious. So I'm adding some mozzarella cheese to the top of this. Then I made a breadcrumb mixture. Normally I'd use panko, but I didn't have any panko, so I just used regular breadcrumbs, and I mixed it with a little olive oil just so it crisps up a little bit better. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that. This way we get the like the kind of feeling of like the breaded chicken. All right. And then lastly, I'm going to put some freshly grated Parmesan on top of that. I'm gonna throw this back in the oven. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it, probably like another 15 minutes, uncovered now, and just let it brown up. Dinner is done. My breadcrumbs got a little too brown, but that is because I turned the broiler on at the end, so that was on me. But I'm gonna let it rest for a minute or two, and then we're gonna serve it. Bon appetit. Dinner was so Good, Steven loved it. I always judge a dinner if Steven will go back and get like a second helping <laughs> that it's good. He really loved it and it was such a simple one to throw together so quickly. Like that's a meal that I'll use when we're moving um, and just settling in because it's just one pot, throw it all together, bake it. It was so delicious. Him and I were just talking and I was like, oh, take that for lunch tomorrow, I'll pack it up for you. But he's actually gonna come home for lunch tomorrow. I think tonight we're just gonna go up to bed and read. <laughs> he has a book that he just got and I am in the middle of the things we cannot say. It is so good. It is just a beautiful, beautiful book and it's a, about World War II, but it also parallels another woman's journey. It's super interesting. So it's like present day and then you go back to um, Alina's journey and uh, going through the war and waiting for her uh, soon to be husband Tomas to return to Warsaw, Poland. It's phenomenal. The first chapter won me over because the uh, present day woman that you're learning about uh, has a struggle with her son who is on the spectrum at a grocery store. And it's just like so beautifully written that like from that first chapter, I was in it to win it. So I think that is our plan for this evening just to chill out. But one thing that I was thinking about, I was actually drafting it. I haven't posted it yet. I'll probably post it once like I settle in. But um, so many of you have been talking to me about like how happy I have been, how relaxed I have been. So I actually went back and looked at some of Vlogmas this year and just some previous videos and like, I can see the difference. Um, just like the tension I'm holding, how stressed I look. Like you can physically see the difference. 
And um, so I'll write, I'll read to you guys what I'm drafting and I'm gonna share it and I, so I know we'll talk about it over on Instagram. The more you heal, the more clarity you gain around so many things. You look at everything from a lens you couldn't before because you were clouded, overwhelmed, or at capacity. This has been one of the greatest gifts and for someone who has beat themselves up so much for so many things, I could give myself grace and forgiveness. It is true what they say. Sometimes you can't unsee something once you truly see it. My hope for each of you is that you take the leaps that scare you, trust your gut, and realize you are worth so much. I also hope that you know your worth and that doors will open and it gets so much better. With that, take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow.